Majestically situated in the heart of the Tin Shan mountain range of Central Asia, Kyrgyzstan boasts a spectacular natural setting and ancient nomadic traditions. The predominant form of cultural expression among the Kyrgyz nomads is the narration of epics that have survived over the centuries solely by oral transmission. The art of the Yakins, the Kyrgyz epic tellers, combines singing, performance, improvisation and musical composition. The epics are performed at religious and private festivities, seasonal ceremonies and national holidays. The tradition is most prevalent in the northern and southern regions of the present-day Kyrgyz Republic. The uniqueness of Kyrgyz epics lies largely in their thrilling dramatic plots and philosophical underpinnings. Moreover, they represent a veritable oral encyclopedia of Kyrgyz social values, cultural knowledge and history. The preeminent Kyrgyz epic is the 1,000-year-old Manas trilogy, which includes the Manas, Semete and Saitek epics. Although it is 16 times longer than Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, this masterpiece is also noteworthy for its rich content. Blending fact and legend, the Manas immortalizes important events in Kyrgyz's tumultuous history since the 9th century. The Kyrgyz have also preserved over 40 other smaller epics. While the Manas is a solo narration, these shorter works are generally performed to the accompaniment of the Komuz, the Kyrgyz three-string lute. Each epic possesses a distinctive theme, melody and narrative style. Akins were once highly respected figures who toured from region to region and frequently participated in storytelling contests. They were appreciated for their expressive gestures, intonation and lively mimicry, and so were well suited to the epic's emotionally charged content. During the 1920s, the first part of the Manas trilogy was recorded in writing, based on the oral interpretation of the great epic singer, Sagin Bey. Under the Soviet regime, Akins continued to perform, despite the government's ban on the smaller epics.